Welcome to this video and this time we are diving into the Xiaomi devices, specifically the Chinese Xiaomi devices and the problems that occur with them in terms of notifications and how to finally solve it for good, for real. No delayed notifications anymore. Here's how it goes. So let's get started. I don't think I have to explain to you what the issue with the Chinese devices is. You have a Xiaomi 14 Ultra that is a very good device, but notifications are not coming on time or at all. And I don't think I have to talk about the basics, but I will show you them anyway. So if you have an application, just like, for example, let's take Telegram, you go into your info, what you have to do is, of course, enable auto start and make sure you have the permissions set up the correct way and you have notifications set up the correct way so that it shows all the notifications, especially if you want to also have those notifications on the lock screen, you have to check the notifications out and set that it's showing on the lock screen instead of like do not show notifications at all. So this is something that is, I think, the basic that you have to do. There is, of course, the battery optimizations that you can set also to no restrictions. And this is what helps already 99% of the time, but not for the delay of notifications, especially when you have, we don't have the phone on. If you have it on standby, notifications might not come on time and if you go out of standby you will see them flooding in. This is because of another setting that we have here, actually two different settings. One of the settings you can find under the battery tab and you can find it under additional features and it's called the night mode. So you have to disable this nighttime mode, automatically turn off some features to save battery when sleep is detected. This is something that you should have turned off. Also, firmware updates might play a role. You can check them out. Don't think I will receive one for the Xiaomi 14 Ultra, but if you have a different device, it might come with this. Schedule power on and off is also something that you should turn off, but this is not everything. And now we come to the very interesting part and a little bit more complicated part that involves the usage of a computer and the developer tools. So first of all, to use the developer tools, you have to go into your My Device and then you have to click on the OS version until you are a developer. I am already a developer and I find under additional settings the option called Developer Options. And here I have the ability to turn and tweak certain development options on. The two things that you have to turn on are USB debugging and because it is HyperOS 2.0 we are talking about here, USB debugging for security setting. This is very important because this allows us to change certain security settings that are necessary. And now let's check out on the computer my little script that I actually did not do myself to see how we can set up this magic trick. For this little magic trick to work, I'm referring to this guy here. Holy Yay8, uh, the member of XDA developers that created a nice fix for the delayed notification for Chinese uh, devices. You can see he already released it on the June 17th, 2025. He optimized it a little bit. There's a link to his GitHub page where you can find this automatic shell script for Xiaomi phones to fix the delay. It is possible to download this one here as a zip file and then execute it on a Windows machine pretty easy. As I'm a Linux user, you can see I'm running here my uh, Linux distribution. I am going to the code instead and show you the code because it's pretty easy code. There's a fast tweak CMD that you can run on uh, Windows. Um, does nothing else than use ADB commands after we activated ADB and then execute some of the settings here to the device, under the device. So you have to connect your Xiaomi device with your computer. You have to activate ADB and then you can execute those commands. I modified those commands a little bit because what it does is first list packages and then it is like looking for Zalando apparently or Zalo, Facebook, GM, Telegram, Instagram, UGC, Discord, WhatsApp. And those packages will be put into a text file and then later whitelist. In order to whitelist all the packages that I need, 
I modified this a little bit and you can see here the script that I did. So I took almost over everything there, Telegram, Instagram, UGC, Discord, WhatsApp, and then I added Twitter as well as Mastodon because I like to use it. SMS here, just SMS here because I know that the signal client that I'm using starts with uh, here, thought crime secure SMS. So that's why I put SMS there. Reddit and WeChat as well. I know WeChat usually is whitelisted already because it is a Chinese app, but I'm doing it anyway. And yeah, I just write it into a text file. This text file will then be word to word copied and echoed in here. You can see it. This is the apps that it found. So you can see it's not just the app name and it has to be the package name of the app, which on Android might be a bit different. This is why you do it like this. This is what it found. So this is not what you write somewhere. And then we have those commands here that will be put on the device itself. So you connect via ADB and you enter those commands here, all of those commands. Besides, of course, this list here, you don't have to. This is the output of this echo. But anyway, and there is a setting called Millet White. And there you put in your whitelist all the applications that should appear in the notifications. And then we have some other settings to do, like we disable the low power sticky. There are some settings that I already showed you, but there are some that are not visible here, like the MIUI optimizations we also turn off. Very important. It has some side effects. But in terms of battery life with this settings on or off, I did not notice any difference. Sync on Wi-Fi only, I'd also disabled. So it is syncing up even if I'm using my SIM card. And the background power saving enable, this is also what I showed you, is turned off. And then I don't know what this option is doing, actually device level list, but I just copy it over because I think it makes sense. And the power center wake up notification is turned on and wake up for a key guard notification is also turned on, which does it, which turns on as soon as like a notification hits. But with the MIUI optimizations disabled anyway, you're always on display. In my case, is always on. It's not intelligently turning itself off if you don't use it for a few times. But if you have your sensors covered, it will still turn off the AOD. It's just if the sensor is uncovered, it will turn on and it will stay on, uh, turned on. And this is maybe something that people also like a little bit more. And with those settings enabled and executed on the ADB connected Xiaomi 14 Ultra, I'm now getting all the notifications that, that I need, which is I think quite cool. If you're interested in this, because I know it's hard to follow for sure, you, I will link, of course, this GitHub repository of this colleague who found this for sure. And of course you can, like I said, I will also link uh, GitHub gist maybe with my setting there where I add, like I said, Twitter, Mastodon, SMS, Reddit, and WeChat in there. You can add more settings, like uh, if you want to have another Telegram, or uh, Threema or any other messenger that you might, might use in here, you can do so as well. And the cool thing is you can execute this command up until here before the set command and before this pipe symbol, this command basically to see the list. And then you can see if your application that you want to include is included in the list. If it's included, then it's great. Otherwise you have to change maybe the name to make it so. So this is the basic thing that you have to do here to make it work. And yeah, it is a bit complicated, but it's not overly complex. If you know how to use ADB, you can make your Chinese ROM device, Xiaomi device work with notifications now without any issues. This will probably also work on HyperOS 3 with the Xiaomi 17 series, for example. So no issues anymore with applications killed in the background and notifications not received. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give a like, thumbs up, share and subscribe. Until the next time. Bye.